Um, it's been a while hasn't it? It's Easter now and um, last time around I think I just changed the broken piston which I've got the one here. Um, so someone want that as a souvenir maybe. Um, so this time around um, I'm just going to change the remaining um, shells. So I've got the whole shells down there. I've got a box of new shells, box of new bolts etc. Um, so I'm going to finish up changing those um, shells out and then get the bottom ends buttoned up. Hopefully we'll see how far we get. Let's get to it. And I'm not going to um, go through the whole process again. I'm just going to like time lapse it so you can see it. Um, but it's the same deal. New bolts. So you go through 5, 5, 20, 30, 70 degrees, back and more 5, 20, 30, 70 degrees. You do a cycle of four times um, to, to get them running. So we'll do that and we'll see what happens. Let's get to it. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, all of them. Look how worn they are. I mean, it's not, it's not tragic, but they are pretty worn, aren't they? So lifesaver. So that is now all of the replacement shelves done. Replacement piston is also in, so this thing can be just hung on the wall as a trophy. Cool. So bearings are done. Um, so now I've just got to. Um, put it all back together. So I've got to start with the putting the pan back on. So I've got some new gasket. It's got this is for the upper, this is for the lower. So we're going to start obviously with the upper because um, you've got to get that one. And there's a couple of hoses and things like that you need to reattach. And obviously you've got to put the bolts back into the barrel housing. So let's crack on with doing this first. I've got all my bolts that I handily labelled in my bags, so I know which one goes where. Um, I know what my torque settings are. I think I know what my torque settings are. Um, and I know the order I'm going to screw them in, so let's go and do that, shall we? So just giving it a quick clean up, get the gasket on, and then go and reattach this. All right, just a favour. I just need two seconds of your time before we continue with the video. If you haven't already, go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the bell button.
right, so I've cleaned up the um, bottom pan. That's all nice and clean. I've got the oil pump to go in. I've just removed the um, um, chain tensioner for the oil pump as well. Just double check that, that looks okay. So we'll go underneath the car, get the oil pump back in, put the chain tensioner on, put the pickup tube, put the gasket on, and put this thing on as well. And then I think that's it, oil tight. I've just got some bits to connect underneath there then. Let's crack on. Hello to the lad. Say hello lad. Hello lad. <laughs> Get out of here, your mum will kill me. I'm going to have to pixelate your face. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so my box of bits is um, diminishing really because I've got empty stuff now I've just a bit of a clean up back there but some of my boxes are empty because the stuff's going back in the car which is fantastic so that is all the bearings replaced um, new gaskets on the um, on the upper pan new gaskets on the lower pan um, oil pump reseated with the, the pickup tube everything nicely cleaned up as it's gone back in um, and I checked the, um, the the chain tensioner on the oil pump as well to make sure that that was operating correctly um, I've put the um, the vacuum canister back on and I've also um, reconnected the feeds that go from the side of the sump to the oil cooler that sits in the front which is currently sitting in one of these boxes back here one of these has got it in it so that's going to go back in as well um, but it's starting to come back together which is brilliant um, I am struggling a little bit because it's been so long since I took it apart so thank goodness I um, oh I sound very proper don't I thank goodness um, thank god I actually labeled the bags um, I've got a couple of bags which I can't read I'll work it out as I go along but um, the aim is to make sure we've got nothing left over at the end of this other than the old broken stuff um, so that's all good it's all working well and um, next out we'll get that subframe out um, which is huge and I've got to order a um, two box replacement because I just found out that um, two of them when you drop the subframe you have to replace them with new, new ones the, the others you can just put them back in but you talk about to like 100 newton meters which is like by Christ that's going to be a, a fun job to do under the car uh, but I'm going to give that a good clean before we stick that back on and um, yeah we'll just crack on but the, the list is uh, the list is getting smaller which is positive so thank you very much for um, sticking around if you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button that's down there you know the ones everyone asks you to do them but if you haven't please 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 um, get me across that line I, I really want to hit that thousand subscriber limit by the end of this year and um, I've got plans for for future content once this M5 is done as well so um, I'll share that information some other time but um, yeah so hit that like and subscribe button see you next time cheers guys